What's up guys, Sure here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the porcupine and hopefully teach you a few things. So, the first thing to think about is porcupine is a 2520 power level with 50% accuracy, 10 range, and an 8 magazine, which is pretty decent range, and it does really good damage. And what makes the porcupine special is it deals fire damage over time upon the hit, because as incendiary bullets, this is about 120 to 140 damage per second after you hit him, and it can be really useful. But the first thing we're going to go over is scout porcupine. And the best thing you want to do with scout is get there as fast as possible using the scout, and then switch to your porcupine as fast as you can, and use the porcupine to kill people. You want to be careful not to fall in the trap that I fall into in trying to hit people with scout, because it's not going to work out. But the good thing about the porcupine is it shoots really fast and does good damage, and even if you're low, you can get a lot out of it. And you can kill a lot of people and do a lot of damage with this porcupine even when you have low health because the gun actually shoots very fast and that's one of your biggest assets so use the scout to get there faster and then use the port to be able to shoot very quickly like right here we're going to use the scout we get in there we shoot fast and we actually get a kill on an invisible guy and between the fast shooting and our daredevil we're able to kill all four people in only 4.6 seconds which is an incredible time to kill and that's what I love most about this gun is you can just do so much with it and it can kill so quickly without you taking even much damage. Right here, we do end up getting flashed and it's a problem. But we do get triple and the last guy is low with some damage on him. All in all, pretty nice. All right, next up is throwing knives. So throwing knives can do one of two things. It can be used preemptively to keep you ahead before you're down or when you are down, it can make you go up and keep you from ever getting down in the first place. But the biggest thing is it's gonna be able to get that kill and allow you to not take the damage, allow you to do a lot more and end up killing way more people than you could otherwise. Like right here, we're able to take two of them there and because of our throwing knives, we're able to get a triple kill with relatively low damage taken. And this is gonna give us a ton of extra armor in the end and honestly it really helps us be able to get those triples kill everyone and stay alive next up is dot damage this is huge because what it ends up doing is it allows you to get these kind of kills while you're dead and it allows you to basically help your team and help your own kill count while you're not actually alive to be able to do anything and also in situations like this where people are going to try to hide and get away you can end up killing them with your dot damage instead and that is pretty huge. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and use throwing knives and try to get out, but we have very low health and we only have one of our uh, porcupine bullets. So what we're gonna do is shoot that, use a little bit of pistol and knife him, and then just let our dot damage take it from there. And we do end up getting the headshot kill because of it. Right here, we shoot two guys. And while we're dead, we do end up getting a double kill, which is not only helpful to your kill count, but it's also helpful to your team. So sometimes when you weren't gonna get the kill because you're dead, that extra dot damage does end up helping. Right here, we do see the guy that's gonna come behind us, and we saw ahead, thankfully, and got him. Right here, we're gonna go for the four at once, problem is that we got hit by Kecko. Uh, we do end up hitting him with a headshot. It doesn't kill him immediately, but it does do the damage over time to kill him, so it works. And another great thing about this is sniping just like normal and then having a porcupine backup. When people run next to you like that, you go and you just hit him with your pork and you can know you're confident that you'll kill him, and that's huge. Right here, we're just trying to snipe, not really worried about anything else, and we go for that four at once with our porcupine and it works out great. And this can be done with things like Icebreaker or Crossbow as well. I do like Barracuda a lot, so I chose that instead. But basically, your Barracuda and any of these snipers can be good in the long to medium range. And having the Porcupine when people come up close to you is really nice, especially with its fast shooting and its uh, dot over time damage. It really does end up making it to where you can do a lot. and honestly it's one of my favorite weapons and weapon combos because of this it's definitely outside of orion it is my favorite backup weapon to any sniper 
And the reason for that is it really just makes having like multi kills really easy. And when you're sniping, it's really nice to be able to switch to a backup weapon that has really fast shooting because when you switch to that backup weapon, it will automatically shoot. And a lot of the slower shotguns might not shoot as fast. It is something to think about. It's one of the main reasons that I prefer it as my backup weapon. And right here, we saw the guy get lit up, so we know he's coming. We just switch, jump down, and kill him. And then we can go right back to sniping. And then we go ahead and kill him with our pork. And right here, again, we're just shooting sniper because it's our main weapon. And then we know that we need it as our backup. We got the pork. We go back out with the sniper and do our thing. And that is why I believe Pork is the best backup weapon outside of Orion. But Orion's only better if you're one of the better Orion players. If you're not good with Orion, I definitely think Pork's better. And it's a lot easier and more versatile. Like in this situation right here, it's going to be a lot better to have a Pork than an Orion. Because the Orion needs to be a certain distance away. And Pork can hold its own up close. And if they do get away, you can go with your Sniper. But your port can do everything you need it to, and that's what makes this a little bit better than Orion in these kind of situations. So as a pure backup weapon, I think that it can be a lot better. So right here, we're going to attack our people from long range with the sniper, and then when we get up close, we're going to go ahead and shoot everyone with pork until they're all dead. And like I said before, having this be able to switch and shoot really fast can help, and it works even against the better players. So it's just a really great backup weapon overall, and it works pretty much from mid to short range very well, and it can just get you to where you need to be and get you those multi-kills. It's okay to be able to switch between different weapons, and pork's just there for whatever you need it to be, and that's why I love it. But one thing that also works is using your porcupine and then having your sniper be the backup weapon. And this is probably better to be shown with something like a Stormbringer or an Icebreaker, but my hand is injured and I can't actually use those weapons with it, so that's kind of a problem. But like I can show you here is the pork works well on its own and you can use a sniper as a backup weapon and not necessarily have the pork be the backup weapon. Just only bring out the sniper when you need it and just use your shotgun as is. And it works out really well. Like right here, we're going to end up hitting him. He gets a little bit too far away. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with the CUDA. And when we have a guy in the hill, we're going to hit him with the CUDA. Until we're close enough to be able to shoot him with our porcupine. And we're going to do the same thing and figure out where they spawn. We see one. And we're going to go rush him with our porcupine. And use our porcupine really as the main weapon. And the sniper is just there in case we need it. And this is definitely one of my favorite backup or main weapons and these are the loadouts I was using for sniping you can use this with icebreaker or stormbringer just as well and it works really good also you can use the scout with the undying you can use daredevil or jockey pants whichever one you like and you can also use things like machine gun spec or uh, any of the other ones if you prefer those because as far as rushing goes it's really just whichever one you prefer so here are the different perks that I'm using and why. So first off is another shot. If you shoot someone and they are not eliminated in the next three seconds, if you shoot them again, it will do more damage. This does not work with high ground, but it is good to have both because you will not always be above the target and you will not always be able to shoot them twice. So. Sometimes it's good to have both, even though they'll cancel each other out if you could use both at the same time. Speaking of which, high ground. Your rifle inflicts 9% more damage if the enemy is below you. This is going to be something that you want to try to have happen more than not. But if it doesn't happen, the good news is you have another shot and sometimes that'll help you instead. So next up is Berserk. This one's a tricky one. But the less armor you have, the more damage to the head your rifle inflicts up to a maximum of 10%. So the thing is that I don't exactly know how it works. I don't know if like half armor is 5% or what, but I'm assuming it's something like that. So the lower your armor is, the more damage your rifle will do to someone's head. And it makes this a very good perk. Next up is one that is optional. Both of these are. And I like to use Trophy Hunter 
because of perfect aim or restore 9% of your armor. And the reason I like this is because if you use something like an antidote chest that only works and helps you if you have armor, it can help after you kill someone if you're low and don't have armor, that it gives you that extra armor and allows something like an antidote chest to help you. And last but not least, if you have a bunch of defense consumables, which is a stem gun, armor kit, a health pill, literally all of them count. If you use it, it will increase your speed for a certain amount for three seconds. This is super valuable because the most important times to have that speed is usually going to be when you're low and you need to heal. So it can get you to where you need to be just a little bit faster. And I think that is great. So if you have a lot of health pills and you're going to be using them a lot, I think this could be a good option instead of Trophy Hunter, but it's whichever one really fits you the best. I hope this tutorial has helped you some. My next video is going to be setting the record for the most kills in five games. And I ended up averaging over five games higher than most people have as a high score. So I definitely got my high score in those five games as well. And it is pretty awesome. So that'll be what's next. And then we'll do a tutorial for probably Joker next. Hope you guys have a great day.